Okay, today's lesson is on simple perimeter and area of a rectangle. Perimeter is the path around the shape. Imagine walking around the edge of the shape. The perimeter is the distance you would cover. So let's try that with a rectangle. If I start walking around the top of the shape in the top left corner, I would pass it either 10 centimetres, 4 centimetres, 10 centimetres, and 4 centimetres before I that's where I started. Now when I add those guys up, I've walked a distance of 28 centimetres. So the perimeter of this shape is 28 centimetres. Now the perimeter is a length. It only has one dimension and it is measured in linear units. In this case, centimetres. Okay. So I'm going to have another look at that calculation that we just did. And I've noticed that we did 10 plus 4 centimetres for those two green sides and 10 plus 4 centimetres for those two purple sides. So in other words, I had two lots of 10 plus 4 centimetres. So a quicker way of doing this calculation would be two lots of 10 plus 4 centimetres. Okay, so 10 plus 4 centimetres is 14 centimetres. And then I need to double that 14 centimetres, which gives me 28 centimetres. So a quicker way of doing this calculation is add together adjacent sides and then double your answer. Let's try that in a different shape. Okay, first of all, we've got some different notation in this shape. Now, two sides have got a single dash, and the two red sides have got a double dash. The little dashes on the sides of the rectangles denote sides of equal length. Both the single dash sides are 7 millimetres and both the double dash sides are 12 millimetres. The opposite sides are equal. You know this for a rectangle. Okay, so perimeter is the path. Add adjacent sides together and double your answer to our trick. So 7 plus 12 is 19 millimetres. 19 millimetres times 2 is 38 millimetres. So the perimeter of this shape is 38 millimetres. Okay, so here's another side with that notation. I've got two sides that are 14 metres and two sides that are 23 metres. So I add together adjacent sides and double my answer. 23 add 14 is 37. Double 37 is 74. So the perimeter of this shape is 74 metres. Now, with this shape, all sides have just got one dash on them. In other words, all four sides are the same length. So we must have a square. Our rule still works. Add adjacent sides together, then double your answer. So 8 centimetres, add 8 centimetres is 16 centimetres. Double 16 centimetres is 32 centimetres. So the perimeter of our square is 32 centimetres. As all four sides are the same length, I could have done a calculation 8 centimetres times 4 to get my 32 centimetres. OK, now let's have a look at area. Area is the amount of space something takes up. In the rectangle below, the area is shaded in red. We find the area by multiplying the width by the height. Area is width times height. So my width is 10 centimetres. My height is 4 centimetres. And when I multiply those together, I get 40 centimetres squared. Okay, note that area has two dimensions and it is measured in units squared. In this case, centimetres squared. Now let's have a look at this shape. Again, it's got a single dash on each side of the shape. So it means all four sides are the same length. So we've got a square. So all sides are 11 centimetres. Area is width times height. So if the width is 11, the height is also 11. So 11 times 11 centimetres is 121 centimetres squared. The area of my square is 121 centimetres squared. 